The Prophet, peace be upon him, taught us how to urinate and defecate, teaching us to sit down in a squatting posture. Many people today remain unaware that sitting toilets pose a danger to their health and well-being. Today, a growing number of medical experts say humans are designed to squat to eliminate. It all comes down to positioning. Squatting releases pressure on the rectum and makes it easier to defecate. Sitting in a Western-style toilet means you're pushing against your own muscles. Many doctors say that squat toilets reduce the chances of constipation, hemorrhoids, and even bowel cancer. Research shows that a bathroom posture plays a bigger role in these ailments than a lack of dietary fibre. Stanford University has revealed a new study that shows squatting is the proper and recommended way to go to the bathroom. So, what is the big difference between the two positions? Sitting on the modern style western sit-down toilet is designed to place your knees at a 90 degree angle to your abdomen. Sitting on a squatting toilet, your body is placed at a 35 degree angle. Neuroscientists say when a person squats, his or her thighs are pressed against the lower abdomen. The action of these thighs supports the colon and causes the pressure inside the abdominal cavity to increase. The resulting natural pressurization of the colon facilitates waste evacuation. In the squatting position, the pelvis is also suspended like a cradle and the buttock opens up to expose the anus. Squatting does what sitting cannot do. It releases the kink in the anal canal. This straightens the final pathway between the rectum and the anus, making it easy for the waste to pass out easily and completely. However, in the sitting position, the kink, the bend between the rectum and the anal canal is not released. The abdominal and colon is also deprived of any support from the thighs. As a result, a person using the seated posture for defecation is forced to hold the breath and strain and push downwards for waste evacuation. Yet, evacuation can never be complete, resulting in accumulation and hardening of residual wastes in the lower regions of the colon. All this opening of the buttocks, straightening of the anal canal, beneficial increase in the abdomen and hence compression of the colon can only take place in the squatting position. The result is easier, faster and more complete bowel movements. When standing, the puborectalis muscle fully chokes the rectum. When sitting, it partially chokes the rectum. When squatting, the puborectalis muscle is fully relaxed. Sitting causes straining that is not healthy. When using modern toilets, it can cause constipation, hemorrhoids. The Mayo Clinic suggests that hemorrhoids sufferers avoid long periods of standing or sitting. Sitting too long, particularly in the toilet, can increase the pressure of the veins in the anus. Colon disease. Colon cancer or colorectal cancer is a major killer disease. It is prevalent in the West but rare in the developing countries, as reported in Science News Online. Each year, about 150,000 people are diagnosed with colon cancer in the United States alone. Although the disease is the fourth leading cause of cancer-related mortality worldwide, few people living in developing nations contract the illness. Many Western researchers have been trying to find an explanation for this phenomenon. They miss the important connection between the toilet posture and colon cancer. People in the developing world squat for waste elimination people in the West sit. The appendix. In the squatting position, the right thigh presses against the right lower abdomen, squeezes the sacrum from the base. This squeezing action pushes waste from the sacrum away from the appendix and the ileocecal valve and up to the ascending colon. The channel opening of the appendix stays clean. The ileocecal valve stays securely closed. In the sitting position, the sacrum is not squeezed empty by the right thigh. Also, the colon is not prepared properly for evacuation. As a result, there is a need to strain and push downwards with the diaphragm while holding one's breath. This action inflates and pressurizes the sacrum in the wrong direction downwards against the appendix and the ileocecal valve. It is like squeezing a tube of toothpaste in the middle, causing the bottom of the tube, the sacrum, to inflate. This back pressure can force waste into the appendix with disastrous consequences. A very simple solution is to use a small footstool while you sat on a western sitting toilet. This will put your body in the correct posture by elevating your knees to a 35 degree angle. <laughs>